Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live, Wednesday night edition. Yes, yes, yes. As you can see, it's myself, my main man, Transformer, and my brother, G. What's good, y'all? What's happening? Chief. <laughs> All right, all right. So we're gonna uh we're gonna hold up here, wait a couple minutes, see what we get in the uh see what we get in the chat, and then uh we are going to get it rolling. I think we got some uh we got some pretty official topics here for y'all. We got uh we got some good quick hits and we're gonna try to keep them quick. And then uh as you can see, we will do our our normal, our uh Wednesday night special to to pick them, see how that goes, and then uh we'll we'll talk about the Ravens and uh we won't go crazy, but we will talk about the Ravens. I'm keeping y'all on the time of the day. <laughs> and then we got um, Adam Silver. That should be interesting. And then uh, a little college football, which we don't normally talk on this show, but we're going to talk about Dion, Coach Prime, and, and those Buffaloes of his because um, yeah. it's looking real interesting. I think when, whenever you're talking Dion, man, it's bigger than college. I mean, that's just sports. Yeah, it could be right? interesting. What up, yeah. Bruce? No, we do not need G on his BS tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need nobody on no BS tonight. But we going we got a good show for y'all, man. We we gonna do that though. <laughs> uh, we gonna make it. We gonna make it. <laughs> oh my goodness. We gonna make it. We yes, we are. Yes, we it. are. Oh, yeah, I know what I was about to talk about. What's up, G? Stephen A, man. You think he got something against Lamar? Too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. Yeah, no, that's not how we start the show. That's not how we start the show. That's not how we start the show. We're going to right, right. talk about LeBron, then y'all want to talk about LeBron? No, no, not even. That's 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 Bruce's that's alley, later, bro. bro. That's later. No, oh. oh, man. Let's talk about right. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right. No, no, no. Pat Riley getting a statue in front of uh the stadium. I think that's yeah, the, that's dope. Yeah, that's definitely that one of the quick hits. We're gonna hit that. It that's is dope, dope man. man. We'll talk about that. All right, uh I got an interesting uh, stat on for that quick hit, too. Kind of crazy. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so um we're gonna get ready and, and get started in just a minute here. Um trickling in slowly. Uh, while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the spiel. You all know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't can't wait can't wait <clears throat> We're going to move on, man. We thank you guys for tuning in to the quick hits. We're going to move on to the weekly pick them. The moment you all have been waiting for, the moment you guys can talk about your favorite teams, um, whatever uh, blowout or upset you guys got to get ready for, go ahead and put it in the chat and let us know what you guys think about our picks and let us know if we're being overly biased, G, or just being completely understanding when it comes to our favorite teams, right? Don't ask me. It's always Green Bay. Go back, go. But uh, mm -hmm. wrapping up last week, week 11, we tallied up the numbers, and boy, did we have a bad week. We, I mean me, because boy, I only got half of them right. Mm. <laughs> Seven out of 14. Oh, uh, second God. place Second place was G with eight out of 14, and then Bruce took the cake home. Nine out of 14 wins out of the weekly pick them for right, last man. week. So, man, shout out to, yeah. shout out to Bruce, man. <laughs> Moving on, I'm busting y'all behind this week, man. No, no, no pause, all petroleum jelly. Let's go. <clears throat> all right, man. So we're gonna get into the. <laughs> oh. Uh... Let it marinate, bro. Let it marinate. Whoa. Uh... Mm -hmm. Let's 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 go to the pickup, man. Cause um. Jesus. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 
He meant that yeah. shit, bro. You good over there? <laughs> he meant that shit, bro. You good over there? Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all in the same zip code, ain't it? I know. Ooh. No, we're not the same <laughs> Actually, zip code. Actually, we're not the same zip code. Nah. <laughs> I'm more like 30 minutes. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> what you been drinking today, yo? <laughs> Man, plenty of water, that. man. Plenty of water, Don't man. Just that. low, it's slow sleep. That's probably what's going on. Low sleep, low sleep. All right, so uh, we're going to get into the weekly picking. We're going to start off on Thursday, tomorrow night's game. Pittsburgh, after their win against somebody's team that's on this panel right here, is going to be traveling oh, to already, Cleveland. Yo, like, right? Was bad. that already, bro? Like, my bad. Bad. Like, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right, man. Pittsburgh Still is going to be traveling to play Cleveland, man. You know. <laughs> Who who you got, G? Pittsburgh's favorite by three and a half. If if you want, oh Pittsburgh. All right, Pittsburgh, easy day. Bruce, who you got, bro? Pittsburgh, man, that's a good football team. Yeah, uh, I think we're all gonna pick pick Pittsburgh on this one. Um, it's an easier choice to make. Uh, Cleveland Brown is just that bad. So Browns pull it yeah. off. That's man, he's already starting off with upsets. Are you serious? Okay. Fox, are you serious? Cleveland with the upset. I know. I, I know. I know. It's probably like uh. Maybe a lot of garbage uh, yards, man. Jameis threw for what four hundred last week. Yeah, three ninety five or something like that. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was, and he didn't throw a pick either. He was going in. It's just I think the game got away from him. But anyway, oh, it was far and away from him. Yeah, like thirty five. I mean, they had. I think New Orleans had he like tried. thirty before he got to like ten. Yeah, you know he, tried. he was trying. Yeah, shout out to him though. But um, all right. So yeah. moving on over, we're gonna go over to Sunday. We're gonna commence with the one o'clock games. Minnesota is going to be traveling to the shot town and soldier field. Minnesota's favored by three and a half. Who's who you got, bro? I got Minnesota here. The Bears look, they looked a little better, but a lot of times you see that when a, when a team changes uh, the coach, you know, you get that quick little burst of energy, but I think they're still going to go back to who and what they are. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, right now that's, uh, that's, that's the pink cell phone case and the, and the painted fingernails. So <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of. I don't have a whole lot for the Bears right now. They need a, they the need Bears. a change in coaching. <laughs> they need a change in attitude. They need to, you know, they, they they need to adjust some things. They've got some players, but uh, they need a culture change. And the Vikings, uh, I don't think Caleb is going to be able to deal with the defense that Brian Flores is going to throw at him. So, uh, I got Minnesota here. G, Minnesota. All right, easy day, Bruce. I think you hit everything that I was going to say right there on the nose, man. <laughs> Minnesota's defense, Brian Flores is definitely going to scheme up something um, Mm -hmm. to just throw a bunch of different looks at him um, and hopefully contain him. If they can look back at our game and keep him him contained because the boy is scrambling out of this this world now. So Mm -hmm. um, definitely, definitely keep him contained. All right. Moving on over, we're going to have Detroit is going to be traveling to Indianapolis to play the Colts. And hopefully they can make Anthony Richardson look like what we've seen previously other than last week's game. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Wild in the chat, bro. Wild in the chat already. Oh man, I'm not I'm not putting that on the screen. The Bears are not straight. Super uh, chat that shit, bro. Super chat. No, I'm a super chat. Yeah, you heard some screen word. <laughs> yeah, you can't repeat what you guys are saying in the chat, but just know we seeing it and we're laughing at it. You see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Super chat that shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's uh, funny. Very that's good. funny. All right, but uh G man, who you got? Um Detroit, Indianapolis, brother. Oh, Detroit. Easy day. Yeah, they, they, yeah, mm-hmm. they just ain't rolling, man. They're cooking. They're, at a, they're on a different level, man. They're on a different level. Uh, Bruce, who you got? Oh, I got Detroit, man. They they look so good right now. Um, yeah, they just, they're just playing great ball. I don't think um, I don't think they're going to let Anthony Richardson go off like he did last week. He had a career day last week, about, what, 272, 275. Really, really good game. Um, yeah. I don't see that repeating. Yeah. I, I just think that even if they let him go off, Detroit just go do do even worse. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, clearly they're capable they're, they're, of pulling off 50, 40, yeah. 35. Play calling, execution. You know I mean? Yeah. On mm-hmm. every level, these guys, man. Well coached. Just a solid yeah. football team, man. Oh, yeah. Them just folks believe, bro. Them folks truly freaking believe. Yeah, they and think when it's When you got a team that, that, that is in full belief, 
-hmm. It's hard to beat them. It's hard. It's very, very hard to beat them. All right. Um, we're gonna move on. New England is gonna be traveling to Miami to play Tua Tungavaloa. Bruce, who do you have in this one? <clears throat> um, I think this is uh tougher than it looks, but um I'm gonna go New England here. I'm gonna go New England. I, I like they, I mean they are doing what they always do in terms of playing really good defense, and I like Drake May, man. Yeah, he, he's showing something like give that kid some weapons. I think he's gonna be all right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with New England here. Okay. All right. Let's go, uh, G. What you got? The Dolphins. <laughs> you seen Drake May Marvel? Oh, my gosh. His model? His mama. His, mother. his mama? <laughs> I have not seen his mama. What yeah. happened? Oh, look. Don't look, dog. Oh, my God. I'm a... Like bad? Or... <laughs> oh, I got to oh, I got to look right. now. Hell, hey. I'm going to look. <laughs> I'm going to look Sheesh. now. Is it anything oh. like... Uh, Xavier Worthy, mama? It's a brown bag. I didn't know. It. Mm, 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 mm. Brown. I didn't know. Brown it. Bag. paper bag. No, baby. It's a rubber oh. bag, bro. So you get that snug fit. <laughs> Yo, chat. Somebody send me a link. To oh, see that man's mama. Wow. Mm. That's harsh. That's harsh. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I got you, Transformer. I got you. I got you. All right. So, uh, what does Bruce say? Damn, well, y'all didn't check what said about I AR Transformer moving too fast. Yo, that joint whack. What was whack? What does he mean? You didn't check what said about AR Transformer moving too fast. I think he was saying, um, let's give Richardson his flowers for bouncing back last week. He showed a lot of heart. I think that's what he was talking about. What they got to do with me? I don't. I don't know. I do not know. Yeah, hey, Bruce. What, what they got to do with me, big fella? Check yourself, bro, before you wreck yourself. All right, we're gonna. Um, Bruce, you picked New England. G picked Miami. I'm gonna go with Miami here. Um, to a tongue of a lower. Um, he's back. Obviously, they're clicking offensively. They're getting things back in shape, and uh, they're at that time of the season where they need to actually start ramping it up and uh, winning football games. Mm -hmm. um, New England. I don't think they're in no shape of winning right now. They're right now just prospecting for the future, right? You, you're seeing how good Drake May looks. Um, they're probably going to keep this one close. Um, the defense is going to be good enough to keep it close. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Miami just walks away with this one. All right. We're going to move on over. Tampa Bay Bucks are going to be traveling to play the New York Giants. And what is his name? Vinny, Vinny Vito? Vanny Vito? V Vanny any cutlets? <laughs> what they call him? That's what, uh, Devito, right? Devito, I think. Yeah, Devito. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Gonna be uh, gonna be playing Devito. Who you got yeah. in that one, Bruce? Oh man, I I got Baker bouncing back, finally getting a win. He's been playing really well, but the team's just been coming up short. He hasn't been able to win, so obviously not well enough, right? But um, I I think this is the perfect remedy coming off a bye, and I think Tampa Bay gets this without too much problem. Shout out Italian, Steve. <laughs> you got G. Oh, I got Tampa. Yeah. yeah I got I, Tampa. I'm going to chalk it up with Tampa as well. I mean, just as simple as it gets, New York Giants is just a bad football team. Yeah, man. It's just picking what's better. And I believe Mike Evans is going to be returning this week. So with Mike Evans being back, Baker has another weapon. Um, mm -hmm. And Baker just got that much more dangerous with yeah. having that weapon back. So definitely going to have Tampa in that football game. All right, this next one, I'm going to go ahead and click Washington for us. But Thank Dallas you. is going to be traveling to Washington. So, G, Dallas, got it. Bruce, Dallas. Got, I mean, <laughs> Washington, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, G, Washington, got it. All right. D, 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 Washington, got it. Yep. All yeah, right. Yeah. Washington. Washington. We're just going to keep it simple. If you guys need to know why we pick Washington, just, you know, go back and watch a whole bunch of tape. Obviously, you haven't been watching football all season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just bad. We're going to move on. All right. This next one, we can just pick this one, but it could get a little flippy depending on if they want to play trick plays all day. Kansas City is going to be traveling to play Carolina. G, who you got? Kansas City. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> got it, Bruce. Who you got? Yeah, I got Kansas City. I think they're upset coming off of that loss, man. Yep. Kansas How's that City. even a, a, a game? This time of year, man, like that should be more like a 
I think that they're giving Kansas City another bye week. Oh, yeah, so this it. is their, this is their, is, this is their half like, bye week. Yeah, and the schedule is the schedule, man. <laughs> and it okay. All right, I ain't gonna say nothing. Uh, Anybody in the chat? You guys think Kansas City can be upset by Carolina? No. If you do, let me know what you're drinking. Where did you buy it from? All right, moving <laughs> on. The Tennessee Titans are going to be traveling to the Houston to battle the Texans. Who do you have in this one, Bruce? Uh, I think I think the Texans are kind of. I'm not going to say they're totally back, but um, we know the Titans aren't a good team. They can defend. They have a good defense, but um, I'm gonna still go with the Texans here. Um, I don't I don't think they're gonna. It, it is divisional though, so there's that. But I don't think they're yeah. gonna give away one to a bad team where they're looking for seeding in the AFC. Okay. G? I agree. Yep. Uh, CJ Stroud has his weapons back. Nico Collins. You saw the very first play of the game. The man had an 80-yard bomb. They got called back, mm-hmm. right? Joe Mixon is playing out of this world. He's playing like he's 26 going on 25, right? Like he's mm-hmm. aging backwards. Um, defense is stepping up. Defensive line, even though that was against a bad uh, offensive line in the Dallas Cowboys, um, they were able to get a lot of pressure up on that uh, offensive line. But um, CJ Stroud has his weapons back. We've seen what he looks like with his weapons, uh, minus Stefan Diggs, of course. But Tank Dale, Nico Collins, Joe, Joe Nixon, that's enough to get it done um, on that offensive side of the glass, but the glass, but I feel so. Houston, it is moving on. Denver, the hot Bo Nix, and the Denver Broncos are going to be traveling to Las Vegas to play the Raiders. G, who you got? Yeah, man, that's a tough one. Uh, Battle of the Bums. Um, Denver. bums. Denver's a bum. No, yeah. you can push them up all you want. I don't. Six and five, one of the best defenses in the league. Six and five, okay. In the playoffs currently, that's that's. I got. Bum I word. got Denver. I got Denver. Okay. Next slide. <laughs> uh, oh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas is trash, man. Like. They trash. And they're bad. <clears throat> yeah, they're they bad. are bad. Um, so I went on here and clicked Denver for you, Bruce, since you just answered Appreciate that you. just very quickly right there. Mm-hmm. This next one is going to be a doozy, so I'm not even going to tell you who I picked because you already know where it's going to go. San Francisco is going to be traveling to the Green Bay Frozen Tundra mm-hmm. at 4.25 p.m. To play the mean game. <clears throat> who do you got in this one, G? Oh, I got San Francisco big. Ooh. Big, big as in. Big 14. as in. 14. 14. Yes, sir. You think Green Bay is going to lose by 14 at home? Yes. 14 at home. Do you want to put a wage on that? I don't gamble. Ah, we got play money over here. You got prop money? <coughs> we, can, we can put. <laughs> hey, chat, prop money up. What should pick be? What you think I'm picking? Oh, he meant the Denver in Vegas. Yeah, that's gonna be Denver, bro. I didn't, I didn't uh, click mine, but yes, it's gonna be Denver. Denver's defense is better, bro. My mm-hmm. bad. Thank, thank you for that, Fox. Um, okay, so he says San Fran. Bruce, who you got? I got the 49ers as well. Okay, um, I love it. Packers against us. The Packers. Uh, we know that's a very good football team, man. But there's been it's been very close. Um. Jordan Love has been throwing some interceptions this year. I'm kind of concerned about that. And what I'm really looking at at the end of the day is, man, that that desperation that the 49ers are feeling right now. And you know it's you know it's weighing on Shanahan and the rest of those guys over there. And at five and five, and that that freaking division being a complete and total dogfight out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with the 49ers here. Okay, all right, I like it, man. I like it. Um, San Fran typically does beat us, but not in the regular season. They beat us in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna call a spade a spade, even though I like my team. Man, 49ers, we all, we always end up losing to them when it matters the most in the mm-hmm. last 10 years. Uh going all the way back to Colin Kaepernick, um, when he played for the San Francisco 49ers. But That's during true. the season, we tend to have the number a little bit more, especially when we're at home. Um, so I do like our chances. I do like the way we're you know we're establishing the run. I think we tighten up um the uh the randomness of Jordan Love uh, in the red zone, I think we definitely need to tighten that up by just really staying strong and establishing the run. And if Nick Bosa not going to play, we have a much better opportunity 
um, to, uh, you know, get a lot of a lot more plays off with play action when it comes to Jordan Love. So um, I got Green Bay. I'm going to stay with the home team. Appreciate you, Fox. Packers win. 49ers offense is Ayuk is showing. Is Ayuk? Well, C-Mac is, is back. So once yeah. he just he has to have one of those C-Mac type games and they'll, you know, so he's getting himself back into, you know, rounding back into shape. But uh, no, I, I hear you. Yeah. I respect your pick. Y'all didn't like hear me last week when it came to Baltimore. But all uh, right, Arizona is going to be traveling to Seattle to play the Seahawks. Arizona is going to be traveling to Seattle to play the Seahawks. Bruce, who you got in this one, bro? I believe the Seahawks beat the 49ers up there last week, right? Correct. Um, yeah, that's a. He did the. Gino did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that, was, that, that's cool. tough, man. But um, Kyler Murray is playing well. But again, I, I, I'm, I'm having such a hard time with the Cardinals, man. Because you just, you don't know what you're gonna get week to week with that team, man. And, Correct. Uh, going up to see, I'm, I'm gonna go here with the home team. I'm gonna go with the home team. Very tight, but I'm gonna go with the Seahawks. Go with Seattle. Mm-hmm. All right, Bruce has Seattle. G, who you got? Seattle. Seattle, easy day. I'm going to go off the fence, and I'm going to pick Arizona. Um, I'm going to go with Arizona on this one. I don't know, I've just been liking what they've been doing offensively. Um, I think they're, they're they're kind of flowing in the shape right now. They're holding the number one seed in that division, and I think they're going to try their damn hardest to get it. Um, and we'll see if uh, the mockingness and the, the, the taunting of Seattle and uh, Geno Smith might come back to haunt them at home. All right, that they just did against San Fran. So I'm going to go against the chalk here, and I'm going to go with Arizona. I believe I'm not going against the chalk, am I? I'm not going against the chalk. Okay, They got Arizona favored by one point. <coughs> but I'm going to go with Arizona here um, to win that football game. All right, last game on Sunday. Philadelphia is going to be traveling to Los Angeles to play the Rams. Bruce, you went first last time. G, take off. Who do you have? Say what? Who playing the Rams? Philadelphia. 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 I go with Philly. Philly on. Philly. Easy day. Bruce. Yeah, I got the Eagles as well. Um, the Rams are they're a tough team, so I don't think Philly's gonna like blow them out. But Philly is rounding right into shape there. And um, if you remember last time we had the we had the topic of you know who's the class of the of the uh, NFC, whether it's Detroit or whether it's Philadelphia, and I think. Philadelphia is they're they're chasing um they don't they don't want to fall too far behind right they're chasing uh Detroit trying to get Detroit, that number yeah, one yeah. overall seed so that everything can go through the link and um I they're, they're still that's a very good football team Saquon is playing out of his mind he, uh Jalen Hurts has his receivers back so he's looking good again uh Philly's defense is is looking good so I'm I'm gonna go with Philly here I don't yep. I don't think they smoke him but I'm gonna I got him to win yeah, I think that they, they have the weapons, right? They they definitely have the weapons. Um, the Rams have the weapons too. I just don't think their defense is going to be able to get the stops that they need. And Philadelphia's mm-hmm. defense has actually been playing very, very good mm-hmm. over the last three to four weeks. Uh, sure. That that rookie uh, corner, what's his name? Uh, it's slipping my mind. He's opposite oh, of uh, I know Darius Slay. Uh, uh, Mitchell. Know. Is it Mitchell? Uh, no, I don't think that's it. I, I know who you're talking about. The other, the other corner. Fox, who's your other corner? I know he knows. Who's your other corner? Um, that guy's playing out of that kid's playing out of his mind, right? He's 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 defending very, very well. And you're gonna need both of those corners to show up against Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. All right. If you can if you can keep them at bay and the defensive line can get pressure to come get uh Matt Stafford, Mitchell. There you go. Mitchell, thank you. Not not the safety, that's the genre. Uh Cooper DeJean is the safety, I believe. Yeah, the kid out um, of Iowa. That's yeah, right. the kid out of Iowa. That's the safety. But I meant Mitchell, man. Thank you. Uh, so you got you got those two. And speaking mm-hmm. of design, I mean, you got design Cooper and blank blanket ship back there. Um, they're they're truly playing some good defense um in that secondary. And I think they could just disrupt the Rams and keep the keep the ball in uh uh Barkley and uh Jalen Hurst's hands. So I'm gonna go with Philly mm-hmm. on this one. All right. Hey, uh, real quick, hold on, Bruce. Philly MS is highly overrated. What, what's the MS? I'm not tracking. Philly MS is highly overrated. What's that? Five, he's playing nickel now. They got him at nickel. I thought he was at okay. All right. I know. I know they put him at nickel. Hmm, that's good. And uh, so, uh, while uh, we, uh, Blankenship's at safety though. 
he don't even know. Oh, okay. Um, while, while we're waiting on Bruce to get back to us with that, um, if you're in the chat, you haven't already, please go ahead, click that like and subscribe and that notification bell and hit the share button. Share button's powerful. Helps us push the show out in the YouTube algorithm and, uh, you know, gets more more people seeing what we're doing here. So appreciate all y'all for being here. Make sure if you haven't already, you click that stuff for me. Um, yeah. All right. Okay, well, let's go on to the next game. I'm sure Bruce will get back to us with, with that. Woo! Yeah. So the next game. And I'm going to go ahead and start my timer in three, two, <sighs> one. G, I went over oh, here and Stafford. I picked okay. pick, pick Baltimore already. Just so you know, G, I got you. Baltimore I already clicked on your on your on your on your spreadsheet right here. All right. But Bruce, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you go first because last time I let G go first. Baltimore is gonna be playing the Los Angeles Chargers, who had a big lead against the Bengals, blew the big lead, but somehow mm -hmm. came back and uh established the dominance that they needed for just long enough for the last two minutes to beat the Bengals. And right, right now they're in a good successful spot to make the playoffs. Who do you have? with the Chargers being at home after a loss against the Pittsburgh Steelers? Um, man, this is so tough. I have no idea. I'm still trying to formulate this. Uh, man, I, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right. Cause, uh, the Chargers, they're playing good defense, but what, what are they? Uh, number 11 overall defense. So they're, um, number number 11 total defense uh so they're really doing that number 12 pass defense so um Lamar can probably have some ex success excuse me in exploiting that uh but you know that the Chargers want to run the football you know that's that's Jim Harbaugh's DNA right he wants to run it he's got all those former Ravens over there Gus Edwards um what's my man's name J.K. Dobbins and the Ravens have Drop slightly. They're now number two in rushing defense, but they can stop the run. We know that. Um, Chargers are number one in scoring defense at 14.5 points per game. So points going to come at a premium. So now we got to be considerate of the special teams. We've seen Justin Tucker in a bit of a funk. He's not looking mm -hmm. like the most accurate kicker in NFL history right now. Um, this is this is so tough, man, um, because we know exactly what. Jim Harbaugh and the Chargers want to do. They want to get this game in a phone booth and win the win the line of scrimmage, right? And uh, but here's the other problem. Even if you shut down the run, Justin Herbert can make plays, right? He's um, I'm not a big Herbert guy, but he can make plays. He can push the ball down the field and he's mobile enough to take off and pick it up with his feet on uh on third down. So now you got a spot. I think, man, this just comes so much down to physicality in the trenches and <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and pick Baltimore for you, bro. I got tough. you. It's I, Baltimore. Yeah, I, I, it's think, Baltimore. I think it's going to be the Ravens close, but this is not going to be an easy game. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, how many times have the Harbaugh's played each other as head coaching opposites in the NFL? Three. Three, I, I believe. And I John three. Harbaugh John Harbaugh has got the lead two to one. So um, if it comes to a coaching matchup, maybe maybe John's in Jim's head a little bit. So I, I'm going to go, man, I'm going to go with the Ravens close here. But uh, Jim is a total psycho. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we got. But I'm going to go with the Ravens close. Go ahead, G. Uh, yeah, um, you know, he's going to run the ball. J.K., you know, he's uh, – uh, man, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> um, Monday Night Football, big lights, right? Uh, uh, J.K. Dobbins versus D Dark Henry. Um, then you got, you know, Lamar Jackson and Justin Herbert. I think um, from an offensive standpoint, I think this is going to be a pretty high-scoring game. Um, I'm not really sure what condition uh, Roquan is in or Khalil Mack. Um, and so running the yeah, ball, stopping the run. Yeah, stopping the ball might be an issue uh, for both teams, um, mm -hmm. but but we got to crash out Hamilton, and so I mean, you, you seen him the other day, man. He, right. he definitely um, he definitely uh, 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 carry his weight on the team, right? Mm. Um, there's a few there's a few players or numbers that you look for when you're watching the Ravens, and uh, number fourteen is definitely one of them. Um, I think 
if they don't give up a lot of um, penalties, right? We 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 start to um, calm down with. You know, the, the, some of the a lot of the penalties we see is what uh, an eligible receiver down downfield that that really blows up really big plays for us um, with the, the the rookie uh, right guard uh, Rosen mm-hmm. Rosen yeah he he yeah, always get called for that yeah, um, so I mean it's the hardball bowl so it's gonna definitely be entertaining but I, I definitely know that we uh, the Ravens gonna come out on top um, there's no question. But I, I I will see I will say that um JK is probably gonna have a big night. He's probably gonna have a big night or um he won't play at all. So it's no there's two extremes. Right? Okay. Either either he uh kill or get killed. <laughs> so it ain't no in between <laughs> in the off game, man. But um uh yeah. If I had to pick if Justin Tucker was gonna win a uh I mean kick a field goal. Uh, if the game was on the line and we had to um, kick a field goal, it's a bad day, man. That's that's a bad day for us. So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Ravens. Ra- Ravens by 10. All right. Ravens by 10. Uh, please All pick another team. number because you said that about the Steelers yeah. and they ended up losing by two. Yeah, yeah that Ravens by 10. That, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I mean, 90 yards penalties, 90 yards worth of penalties. Yeah, it's, it's so happen. you that's you they, they're the number one yeah, they're the number happen. one penalized team in the, in the league. I mean, I, it can happen again. Kick field goals, they kick field goals every time they was down. It ain't gonna happen again, bro. <laughs> you pick Baltimore, right? you pick Baltimore. Or did you not pick Baltimore? You I picked. Pick Baltimore. I picked Pittsburgh. I told you Pittsburgh was gonna win. I'm talking about for this. Game. Oh, for this game, I got Baltimore. <clears throat> for this game, I got Baltimore. Uh, John Harbaugh is two and zero oh against jo- uh, Jim. Okay, I thought it was um, last time they visited was in that Super Bowl. I remember yeah. the Super Bowl, and then one time before then in uh, 2011, uh, Baltimore Ravens beat the 49ers 16 to six. So it's uh, this will be the third time that they actually played. That's probably where I was getting number three from. But uh, John is two and zero against his younger brother. But um, I do got Baltimore in this game. Uh, I believe this is a game where Lamar Jackson is going to look at that sideline and be like, "Hey, look, if we ain't calling." The right thing, I'm checking out of it. This may be one of those type of games, right? Um, Lamar Jackson was clearly upset um, last game with the, the the abundance of penalties, the false mm-hmm. starting, the bad play call, or the misunderstanding yep. in the uh, with the two point conversion. He's just honestly he's honestly pissed off. Last time Lamar Jackson was pissed off, he came out there and he took care of business like an MVP should, right? So I think this is going to be one of those games where he definitely steps up. And uh, and he just gets his team to win. Um, I think it's going to be high scoring. I do agree with G a little bit on this one. Um, Jim does love to run the air out of that football. Um, he sure does. And 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 <laughs> that's what Munkin should be doing. But anyway, I'm sorry. I mean, true. Jim, Jim, they should be on the same coaching staff. Jim, just come over there and handle the offense. John, I got the overall and I got special teams. We good. Oh, <laughs> we good. But um. But, yeah, man, I, I got the Baltimore Ravens on this one. I think it's going to be in the north of the 20s. Um, this could be a high 20-point 20, uh, 20 scoring game, but I don't think got so? nobody with about 10. Yeah, I think I think they're both going to be able to get off get off a little bit. That first quarter, um, first half, excuse me, is going to be a little bit of a shoot-around. Mm-hmm. And then at that, that second half, I know them brothers are going to go in the locker room. They're going to make their adjustments. And they're like, all right, little bro, I'm not, we're not doing this. I'm mm-hmm. tired of this. All right, the show's over. Let's play some football now. All right, but um, but yeah, I have the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, I just think it's gonna be low scoring and close. You think low scoring and close? Yeah, yeah. I got both. It's Monday night. It is Monday night too. <coughs> yeah, he, he typically played really well under the big lights, man. Um, so when did you say low scoring, uh, I don't think that's, that's gonna happen. We had a low scoring <laughs> one last week, and um, it was it was due to poor execution. I think uh, given that. Like Transformers said, you know, these guys didn't get it done. Um, a lot of penalties, uh, a lot of – I don't even know. I, every week when I see a tight end screen, it just – it breaks my heart, man. I'm like, I thought we threw this shit out. Like, why is this still a thing? Um, but um, 10 points, man, that's what I got. 10 points. You got it locked in. It. It's the number one scoring defense. That doesn't really sit well with me. But I would love to see it. I just don't. <clears throat> I believe uh, Bruce number two, he said in the chat earlier, the Broncos have the number one defense. I think the difference is that 
the Broncos didn't have an offense to keep the defense off the field. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So at this point, I think uh, the the Chargers have enough of an offense to give the defense time to rest, recover, and get back out there. Bo Nix didn't give them no time. <laughs> it was three and out. Defense back out there. Three and out. Defense is back out there. So defense just got exhausted. Um, so I think if if you can keep the football, like I said, and that's that's Jim's forte, run that football, right? So that's going to be time ticking off the clock, and it's going to be giving time for his defense to rest up, gear up, and plan out for what Lamar Jackson may have have planned next. Um, and definitely keeps Derrick Henry cold. As we know, you got to lube De uh, Derrick Henry up um, up on the run game. He has to get about 25, 30 touches. And oh, pause. What the f Okay, so when Bruce says it, it's cool. No, I said lather them up, man. Lather them up, lube them up, lather, same no, difference. That's not the same thing. When you that is definitely the same no, thing. First of all, I don't even say lather him up. You're I making say, him slick. He needs to. You're making him slick. Lube Make and lather. Sure. You're slicking something up, bro. Oh, You're man, slicking you something. No, man. When you talk about those type of running backs, you say you need to get you need them to get lathered up. They need lather. to get the carries and get so lather meaning what? Listen, you, you. What is the I definition of lather? You, man, you ain't going. When you're lathering, food. when you're lathering something. Hey, man, next slide, man. Next it? slide, man. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I ain't lathering no grown man, man. That ain't going. I say something. I ain't say grown man. See, now you, say, see this, this, this is what I mean by on, 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 on a grown man can't say certain things. No, right? you can't this say anything. Paul's going too far. It's just going. It's just going too far. I can't you have a deal. No, no, you say you say you want to lube the number Henry one Paul man. sport because everything you we say is wrong. You say you wanted to lube up Derrick Henry. That ain't gonna make it, man. I didn't say I wanted to lube you up Derrick Henry. You can't just say that, G. I said, you gotta, you gotta get I'm him lubed up. You gotta anything. get him lubed up. I said you gotta get him lubed up. Yo, I, I ain't even lie. Both y'all said put, the same shit. Like Bruce said the shit first, and then now here we are, week So when you go. You go, to, you, go, you, go, you go get your oil change. Don't want to say oil and lube, right? Lube for your engine. Lubrication. Now, I said, I, let me make this clear. I said you need to let him get lathered up, right? You need to let him get them 20 carries. Get you can make that up. a pause too, sir. That's, no, that's different, man. That's not the same thing. But oil and lube is for a car. You, get your, you oil and lube a car to make sure it's performing properly. Can we the move performance on? Performance matters. This? Right, yeah, I'm sure. I'm so sure, that's what I'm saying. Sure. So it's so go ahead. What you know? What let's let's go ahead and I don't even want to. You, you See, that's what I'm so saying. Long. We can't us grown men. We're we're all thirty plus years of age, uh, and we can't say simple terms when we know what we're talking about. We know what we're talking about, right? That's what it's 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 going too far. It's going too far. <laughs> now, if I said I wanted to loop, like if I mentioned I. Want to like that's different, bro. That's different. It's a y'all pin match. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. But anyway, did we just I got spend multiple ten minutes talk about lube and lather? Huh? I think we just spent like 10 minutes talking about lube and lather. That's oh, it was good. It was good about two to three of them. But uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the good. end of week week 12, guys. We got our picks in. Let us know what you guys think about the weekly pick em. Um, If you guys get any upsets, let us know. Um, and that's it. We'll see how we fare out by Monday night.